If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. All the prophets, even Moses, who in the first reading says that the Savior is coming and he will speak. There's something about words. He will indeed speak to us. In the Gospel, Jesus, with authority, quiet come out of him, even commands the unclean spirits. There's something so special about the Word of God, the Word of our Lord. But there's a big difference between the prophets talking about the word of the Lord. Every time they speak, they say, thus says the Lord. They are speaking in the name of the Lord, with the words that have been given to them, and they are speaking. When Jesus speaks, he says, amen, amen, I say to you. He is giving the command. He is giving the word directly from his mouth. He is the word made flesh, who dwells among us. Now his word, as Pope Francis says, if we truly discern his word and his will for us in our lives, it's done in silence, it's done in prayer, it's done in discernment and contemplation. His word resonates within us as we discern what his call truly is and the way that we come out to live our lives. But there are so many words out there. We don't turn on the TV, we talk to people. They have their different opinions and they just try to be louder than the other person. We turn on the news and there's talking heads giving their opinions on so many things. Or we hear gossip and we can't wait to hear the next bit of juicy gossip because we want to hang on to that. And we can't wait to hear the more words to draw us deeper into these usually things that aren't even true. But then we can't wait to tell somebody else that. These words that are so superficial, instead of realizing the true word of God and discerning and holding that close to our hearts. I was driving down the road the other day, and I was, I don't think I was tailgating, but I was driving, and I saw a bumper sticker uh, on the back of the car in front of me that said Jesus really big. And then further down the road, I got a little bit closer, and it said, do you follow Jesus as close? <laughs> so I guess I was tailgating, but... <laughs> But it's true, all these false words and all these other words that we try to follow on and cling to, do we really follow the Word of God as closely as we follow all this other stuff? We really have to think about that. Do we hold on to the, the false truths or the opinions or all these things where we truly work at, look at the Word of God? And here it is, it truly is. But in quiet contemplation and in prayer. So may our celebration together as we receive His Word as we receive his sacrament, help us to discern better his call, his word, his voice, the voice that leads to truth, life, forgiveness, and eternal life.